Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back another kicking comic book collection update. Today we have a fun few books for you. It's mostly DC, but we got other stuff in here too. Uh, first up we have Batman 71, Home Invasion. Uh, I actually read this one a couple times. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to reread it to make sure I had all the details right, because I read it and then... Uh, there, there was all this school, so I never I got behind on comics and I wanted to reread it before I read the next Batman. But, uh, Bane and etc. break into Batman's home, and, you know, Flashpoint Batman is working with Bane against Bruce. So he uses a red bat signal to get the Bat family together. Most of them, anyways, Red Hood and Nightwing don't show up. This was during when Nightwing was being weird. Um, and Bane is, like, turning the Bat family against Batman, making them all think he's insane. It's wild. Bane is a has always been one of Batman's best villains. I've, on, I've honestly believed that. Uh, it's glad to see a writer who really appreciates Bane. Just great. Batman just slugged Red Robin, too. My boy, Tim Drake, my favorite Robin. Just slugged the crap out of him. Uh, too bad. Then we have Batman 72. The Dark Knight loses. Gotham falls. So, uh... <coughs> It's, this is kind of uh, narrated by Flashpoint Batman, Thomas Wayne, talking to Bane. And it turns out Bane has been behind every single thing that has happened in this Batman run. Except maybe the War of Jokes and Riddles, because that was uh, a throwback. But... Like, everything that's happened in this Batman run has been Bane pulling the strings. It's been wild. Because lots of real casual comic fans and stuff, real casual Batman fans, forget how smart Bane is. Bane is fantastic. So glad to just see him being used right, you know? Or at all. Then we have Doomsday Clock, 10 of 12. So it talks about... The multiverse and this prime universe and Dr. Manhattan's relationship with it. Turns out that the main DC universe isn't actually part of the multiverse. It's a metaverse. And the multiverse uh, builds around this metaverse that's constantly changing. And it's been changed by the Anti-Monitor and several other beings. And Dr. Manhattan was like, I'll give it a shot. Let's see what goes on. So this is kind of Dr. Manhattan's side of the story. And it's really good. Oh my gosh, Doomsday Clock is the best. Uh, I think part one is already in graphic novel form and trade form if you guys want to read it, if you haven't read it already. Uh, Doomsday Clock is just magnificent and uh, everyone should read it. Now, we have this Young Guns uh, sketchbook. <laughs> it's just kind of a highlight of several different artists that uh, work with Marvel. Real fun stuff, you know? You know, it's like uh, Marco Sejatito. You know, Aaron Cooter. Russell Dodderman. You know, lots of great artists. Uh, so that's just kind of a, a free thing Marvel threw in to kind of pimp out its... Artists. Then we have uh, Rick and Morty number 47, which is sort of interdimensional cable, sort of not. It starts as interdimensional cable, and then it becomes like people come out of the interdimensional cable to get Rick and get his time travel stuff, and there is a fun little twist in it. I like how these Rick and Morty comics often have fun little twists. Uh, <laughs> it's just great. It's just great. You gotta love, uh, you gotta love Rick and Morty. You absolutely do. Then we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number three, uh, probably my favorite uh, comic that's currently running. Just magnificent work. Love this cover, you know. Uh, Dino Thunder is my favorite season, so it's nice to see a, di a nice Dino Thunder cover, even though this is uh, like none of the Mighty Morphin Rangers are in this. Tommy's not in this, especially as Dino Thunder. This is... Uh, them running around that universe that doesn't have a connection to the morphing grid they're with the solar ranger we learn her story how she got her powers and uh she decides to trust them and team up with them to fight the praetor very cool just 
Such a magnificent book. Oh, it looks like that's it. Oh, that's right. I was going to read one other book, but then I realized uh, it's it's a comic. I'm not going to spoil it. It's a comic for a TV show that had a movie, and you have to read the movie to understand that comic. So I'm pausing on that book, and I'll watch that movie, and then I'll come back to it. But quick recap. We have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 33, Rick and Morty number 47, Young Guns 2019 Free Sketchbook, Doomsday Clock, 10 of 12, Batman 72, and B -B 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 Batman 71! So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Uh, next time, we're going to be reading a lot more stuff. I have a signed comic I'm going to show off next time. Uh, but that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.